How are you doing? Hi. She's a Jedi. Oh. I am right now. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. I don't understand why she's a Jedi. <laughs> um, oh my God. Jedi is being awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah, whatever. I'm Jay. And I'm Lady. And, and we're um, gonna talk about Solo. We want to talk about Solo. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right. Let's do it. I mean, because if you didn't already know, by the lightsaber. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, man. <laughs> Solo, 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 solo. Solo, a uh, Star Wars movie. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. I think it stars Al, um, Aldrin. Aldrin Eldridge. Uh, Enrich. Enrich, yes. Enrich. Uh, yeah. Okay, think, Emilia I Clark. Solo. I think it's that's how he's called. Uh, yeah. Donald Glover is in mm -hmm. it. Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. And Paul <laughs> Bettany. I think Thunde Newton is also in it. Yes, among a plethora of other people. Yeah, um, Solo is just basically the premise of it is is you know some sort of origin story of, mm -hmm. of, of Han Solo mm -hmm. who you already know that is already in um, a Star badass Wars, smuggler Star trilogy uh, the Star Wars series in his beginnings yeah. like you said his origin yeah. story his yeah, beginnings yeah. as a smuggler <clears throat> and you know not the solo that you know and there's probably a little bit of gap and we'll talk about that later but yeah, yeah. the the movie is directed by um, of a lot of people, but yeah. Ron Howard was the Ron one that Howard got the like, yeah, directing but, oh credit. Oh my god, there's like about 10 million people directing mm -hmm. There was a lot of drama I know behind that there the was scenes. some bullshit gonna happen in the end, but yeah. we get into that. <laughs> we, we're gonna talk about our oh, good geek, bad geek about this movie. All so right. you tell me what, 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 what you think about it, what, what you what you break down of it. Okay. Alright, so I really loved um, who they casted for Orlando and Han. I thought that they were good actors. I thought that they did not try to mimic what we knew. They took it into their own, but it was just enough to say, okay, yep, that's Han. Yeah, that's Lando. And it brought me nostalgia watching the two of them. Oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. so that was, that was the first one. My second one was, I loved the twist at the end. Now, I felt like you kind of knew that Woody was going to do what he did. I mean, he kind of basically said, like, don't trust anyone so that you never are um, embarrassed by it or whatever. But um, I still love the twist. Um, and I really love that the pirates were not pirates at all, that it could be actually the seeds of the rebellion. I am a fan of the slow crawl at the beginning. However, I still like how it started. Okay. It kind of so it set itself. Went, it just left the the crawl and then just. Mm -hmm. it like it set itself away from you know a typical Star Wars episodic um mm -hmm. start, and then it just was like boom. Right into it. Yeah, so I thought that that was cool too. I mm -hmm. need mm -hmm. a, a Darth Maul movie. Mm -hmm. I know that has nothing to do with Solo. I'm okay with it. I need a Darth Maul movie. Okay. I, I know he's in Clone Wars. I need a Darth Maul movie. It's that serious. Huh? It's definitely that serious. Oh my god. Absolutely. Damn. Yep. Mm, okay. Okay. So what I did not like was I didn't like that it was preoccupied with a love story. Oh, okay. And this is not like shade on like Han and Leia. Like that, no. I don't want that to be what I'm saying. I, I thought that as the beginning, whether it's gonna be a trilogy or whether um, he's gonna be in other movies or whatever, I thought as the first solo movie, this should not be um, thought of as a smuggler origin story slash love story. I felt like I wanted just to see his raw and, and, and honest start as a smuggler okay and to be in that kind of adventure rather than it sharing the thought process of are they gonna make it through are they not gonna make it through like I, it was distracting to me i saw that a lot of people are saying the same thing and I, i'm gonna agree with it i don't think the movie pushed the star wars lore or i don't think it pushed han solo's lore like everything that happened in the movie you knew about or you didn't i personally was like did I really need a movie for it? Like, I felt like the movie was unnecessary. It was very anticlimactic to see when he got um, the, the 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 ship. So I was just like, do we really need all that for just a movie? 
So the fact that it didn't push Star Wars lore or it didn't push Han Solo's law, like law, lore, excuse me, um, I really, we you know, it's just like, all right, whatever. I mean, it was fun, but like, all right, whatever. Was Lando in love with? I mean, you're talking about the robot. Yes. Oh man. I, yes. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be talking about that, but I, I just didn't like that either. This, there's another bad geek that I, that I hated. But you know, I, mean, it's, I don't know what to think. I, I don't either. I, I was like, mm, there seems to be a little bit more between the two of them. Okay. All in all, it was a fun movie. Um, but those were the things I was like, yep rooting for and mm, not really so what about you well you know what there's just a lot about the, the movie that I not really a lot but just a small amount that I that I like but mostly a lot that I didn't like okay and um, the first one you know I didn't like the fact that they didn't have the slick talking type of hand solo and mm. um, you know it, it, it goes back to the Star Wars stories or series where you had that that Han Solo that you can actually um, can actually gravitate to because he was normally he was always this dude that just wanna get you know he's one he just wanna get his money out and, and, and get out the gifts get out the way he's just mm. basically offering him and he wants nothing to do with other stuff until he caught he's like the bad guy good guy type of thing and going back to my second good my second bad guy going back to what you didn't like as well mm -hmm. i just didn't like um lando being i think they call it a sapiosexual I'm, I'm not sure did you guys look that up i think i think they were you know, don't make me look it up yeah i didn't like it <laughs> It was dumb. Lando is a he's a he's a player type dude. You know, what I mean, I, I think maybe he became a player because he lost L three. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I did. Another part, another thing is that the movie just seemed dull. Most of the studio, well, most parts of it just seemed dull. Where you were mostly looking for adventure type. Uh, movie or storyline that goes along with his per his personality or his career, I didn't see that, and I wanted to see a lot more of that. For my good geek, I basically like the fact that they continued his 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 his, um, his backstory as a smuggler. They actually it give was, you that build up. That okay, how about he, it, was, it was an origin story. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so they give you that build up that this is how we went into being a smuggler mm -hmm. and how he um how we had ties with Jabba the Hutt and, and, and you know how he got tied into with the whole rebel story with the Jedi's and how the Empire started to intertwine with whatever he's a part of. The union with Chewbacca felt natural and bad at the same time. Oh. I, I, I believe that there should have been another another way in how they meet you know um, but the whole scene, the scene with him in the hole, where he was, where, where, where he was in the hole, and they were trying to, yeah, um, yeah they were trying to tussle or whatever. I think that scene was okay, but it should have been more to it. That train scene that they had, oh yeah, yeah that train that scene was, was hot. That train scene was really was good. So I cool. really like that train scene, mm -hmm. and and it goes back to again my bad game that they didn't show much action scenes. Which I, I, you know, which then goes back to what I was saying that they, I wanted more adventure type look towards the movie because I, I wasn't seeing any of that. The, the appearance of Darth Maul. Oh my God! And I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. I was, Darth I was Ma so hoping oh. that I wasn't alone in that one. Man, that Darth Maul. That was that so Darth cool. Maul, that, was so cool. that Darth Maul appearance <laughs> really got me shook I was like Whoa. yes and it was com I felt it was completely left field yeah I felt like it was completely left field I was like I I didn't think that they were going to um, have anyone that we knew about already so I felt like not only was it very much a surprise but I was like oh darn all of all people yeah and you know like Darth City it's like Darth Maul Darth Maul yes Man. Yeah, so you know, just those are those are both my good geeks and bad geek about okay. the movie. But you know, all in all, the movie it, it was bland to me. Basically, uh, you know, I was looking for something more more exciting. I was, I, you know, what I wasn't expecting Solo to be all exciting 
for some reason, for this reason, because you weren't expecting there was, it. No, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it to Why be unexciting you? because I mean there wasn't a bit, of, there wasn't a big hype behind it. Now I agree with that part with the fact that because there was so many changes, reshoots, different directors that it was going to be a little bit um, shaky. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit shaky. But I, I thought that there was hype around it. I think what happens is, is that this is what the fourth movie within three years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so um, the fact that you ha just had not even a year from the last Star Wars movies to having this movie. Um, and like I said before, to me, that really annoyed me was the fact that like it didn't push the Star Wars lore forward. It didn't push the Star Wars lore forward and it didn't push Han's lore forward. But at the same time, it just was like, was it necessary? I'm going to keep on har harping on that because, mm -hmm. you know, I grew up with Star Wars. I was hoping that I was going to see something different. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, the whole idea of it being a love story, that's so Han Solo being surrounded within this love twist this love triangle, triangle type thing, trying to get. No, back I'm not saying not this, triangle, but yeah, but this this love twist, trying to get back his 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 um his girlfriend, mm -hmm. um, and it ended up that she was uh, working for the Empire, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, I, I, I was I w that's that to me. I don't think that was mostly of a of an original story. Now, I I disagree with that. I did like the fact that they started him as an adult. Mm. Like, I did like the fact that they weren't just saying, like, oh, this is when he was born, and this is the backstory of his childhood or whatever. Mm. Like, they started him flat out as an adult, and basically, this is where he is, maybe 25, 26 or so, yeah. and, and, to, and to bring it forward. So I, I, was, I was pleased about that, that it mm. wasn't a straight origin backstory, mm. whereas it's just straight origin backstory about him as an adult and not as just like how he was with Croxia or however mm. you say that, which by the way, that green screen and no, actually, I don't know if it was recently. I think it was like Puppeteer or whatever. That was crazy. That yeah. that that yeah. first one. Mm. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I, I was okay with it. It I, I wasn't that enthused coming out of it. I wasn't saying like, yo, this was the best Star Wars movie or mm. filler between episode, yeah. you know, eight and nine. <laughs> um, you know, I I, I would have liked to have loved it. Um, I barely I liked it. I mean, I didn't. I I did not like it. Mm. But I barely liked it, so I mean, I feel I, like I was me, trying to like it. I was trying to appreciate it. Um, you know, as, as I said, it, it was dull. To me, I, I was expecting more. You know, what really turned this, the, the, the page around for me within the movie is the fact that the pirates were literally rebels. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, I agree I with that. A question, I, agree I, with I that. was questioning Lainey about that, whether if they work with the, the the republic or you know are they the startup of of, of of a group of people who work with jedi to overthrow the empire i would love to see another backstory of, of that, that. Or probably yes because yeah, I, I, I think obi-wan is going to be the next movie there's going to be an obi-wan movie and i think there's going to be a boba a whole a boba whole, whole, whole <laughs> what? Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. <laughs> I'm not enthused about um, an Obi Wan story. You know, I'd love to see an Obi Wan. Movie. Why? Because I think he, being that he's the background of the, of Darth Vader, of the development of Darth Vader, I, I'd, I'd love to see his backstory. How he got, how he realized that he was a Jedi. You know how how his backstory came up and who trained him. You know, I'd I'd love to see I'd love to see the birth of the Republic. I the thought, birth of the old Republic. I'd love I to see that. thought you were gonna see. I would love to see the birth of the Sith. No. I would love that. First of all, Darth Bane. I'm I'm not sure if he's canon or not, but um I can't remember who wrote it. I think it's Drew somebody, but. I, I read not not too too long ago. We're talking about a couple of years. A trilogy that has to do with Darth Bane that started the rule two. Anyone who knows about that, please like like I would love to talk please to you. Please come in. Please come um, in. Because that was a 
kick-ass trilogy. I loved it. It was basically the beginning of the Sith Order mm -hmm. um, and the old, old Jedis. And then it was the beginning of um, the Rule 2, which you only have um, an apprentice and you only have a master. Mm -hmm. And I think that that or stories like that, stories that are canon or um, that that are not necessarily within um, what's ever being covered now, so not necessarily what's in Rebels or not necessarily that was in Clone Wars, things like that, I think those stories should get the movie treatment. Not things that are already rehashed and that we don't really, really need to have. That's, that, 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 was a, that was a part of my annoyance about Solo. I was like, all the time I was thinking like, this is so like whatever. I, the Millennium Falcon, wow, it's shiny, cool. You know what I mean? The Kessel Run, that did look cool. We know he's a smuggler and you left out the part about, and you spoke about it. I would have loved to have actually been doing runs for Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, no, like I, that would have been cool. I, 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 what I, that's, and that's the thing I was saying. I would love if if everything intertwined with Jabba the Hutt in it from the mm -hmm. beginning, I so that, that at least I that. you can see that well, uh, Solo kind of grew up amongst Jabba the Hutt. Another thing that I wanted to point out was basically with the rebels, um, with the rebels being shown in it. I wanted to see at least one Jedi in it. And why I say I wanted to see one Jedi is is the okay. fact that I I'd, I'd love I'd love to see some sort of story open up to something else that can that can anticipate you for another Star Wars movie because being that you see another Jedi you would basically know that well this rebel is here and they are working with the Jedi so what's going to be the next move after this now? So I, I, I got to disagree with that because this story takes in between episode 3 and episode 4. Mm -hmm. At the end of episode 3, or all about episode 3 was basically how, you know, Darth Vader became, you know, mm -hmm. uh, ha sorry, how Anakin Skywalker became basically Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. And how the Jedi um, went from vast numbers to almost nothing. Mm -hmm. So if you remember, during that movie, yeah. Order 66 was about killing all Jedi. Yeah. So like, I personally am okay that they didn't have any Jedi in it because it kind of, to me, would not have made sense. If the Rebels would have been a bigger part of the storyline, yeah. <clears throat> Possibly, I still wouldn't have liked it, but I would have at least understood it. I hope. Um, I was very happy that Darth Maul was a backdrop and not something that we saw earlier on, because I would have been like, I want to see more. I want to see more. I want to see more. Mm. But I was like, oh, that was the best little cameo at the very end, and the fact that like he at this point, he's not also about the Empire anymore. Mm. He's about himself. He's a crime lord. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You, so if, if you if you are equating the fact that Darth Maul was there, he wasn't representing the Empire anymore at this point. Mm -hmm. From what I understand, mm -hmm. he's representing as a crime lord. Why my ratings for Solo? I'm literally gonna give it a three out of five. Um, that's just I'm that's just that. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna give it a three point five. Well, basically because I was expecting it to be a more adventurous type movie, which it wasn't. It, it had like two major action scenes a few um a few cameos which is okay um i was more into him getting into adventure and action you know um i wasn't expecting it to be something that that is in involved with some love story type thing I, I wasn't expecting that because that's not on solo for me I, I agree. Um, I give it a 3 out of 5 too. Um, almost for the same reason. I think the only thing I'm going to expand on is the fact that, again, I just was really annoyed that it did not push the sol um, either Solo's narrative um, as, a, as a character forward. Um, I think the only thing that it did kind of push, but not a lot because you saw a very... You saw a more hopeful solo in this movie, in this movie, rather than the ones that you saw in in the first trilogy. Um, I'm sorry, in the original trilogy. Excuse me. Um, 
but I was okay with that, even that change, because he was you, he was younger, yeah, and that made sense. Yeah, and the fact that it didn't push anything for the um, Star Wars narrative. As usual, please comment, 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 subscribe. Mm -hmm. We are actually on Instagram. It's Geek, Geek by Heart. On yep. Instagram. Come and, find us. Yeah, and and you know, share whatever views you have. If you don't agree with us, we still accept it. We give, still give you a thumbs up. Yeah. This is just our opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and we love the conversation. Exactly. And we're not professionals. We're yeah. just some slow joe that just go to a movie and just enjoy it. But All the time. Just give our opinion <laughs> yeah. on what it is. And, yeah. and, that's, and that's totally it. Thank you for joining us. And we will see you in the next Geek Bye. Bye. Heart. Heart. I'm Lainey. I'm Jay. Have a great night. See you. We're good.